Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will get started with learning programming with ChatGPT inside of Visual Studio using C Sharp language. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence, intelligence AI chatbot developed by OpenAI and released in November 2022. It is built on top of the OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 families of language, large language models and has been fine-tuned using both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. So enough of all of the talking, let's get into the real stuff here. To get us started, we have to make sure that we actually sign up to the chat GTP bot, yeah? And this is how we can do it. So we open a browser. So we open a browser, we Google um, chat GPT, so as you can see here now, we have a couple of results here. So basically, this is our first result, which is the openai.com bit here. So this is just an introducing chat GPT. So we click on this one. So this is what we've got here. So introducing chat GPT. So it says we've trained a model called chat GPT, which interacts in a conversational way. So the dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. Yeah. So we can we can get started with it by clicking on this try chat GPT. So here, this is what we get. If you've already signed up, then you can actually click on the login. If you haven't, then you can click on the sign up. So here, you can continue with your Google account, or you can start with your email address. I've already done that, so there's no need for that, but you can follow the steps and make sure you sign up and log in. Then we go on to the next stage, right? So I'm just going to open my chat, GT, chat GPT. So as you can see here now, I've, I'm logged in now and ready to start. So first, what we would do is we're just going to type, what is, what is chat GPT? And let's see what answer we actually get. So from here, you know, this answer, I'm ChatGTP, a large language model created by OpenAI. I use machine learning algorithms to generate human-like response to text-based conversation. I've been trained on a massive amount of text data and can generate a wide range of response in various topics. So as you can see, since we're actually going to learn programming, let's ask what is C Sharp then. So what is C-sharp. So C-sharp, pronounced C-sharp, is modern object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft. It is designed to be simple, type-safe, and efficient, and is used primarily for building Windows desktop applications, web applications, and games. C-sharp is often used in conjunction with Microsoft.NET framework or .NET Core platform, which provide a large set of libraries and tools for simple development. So C Sharp syntax is similar to, the, to that of Java and C++, and it supports many advanced programming concepts, such as generics, lambda expression, async await, etc. So we're not, we're not going to read all of it, so I, I hope you get it. So what we do next is we just ready to open our Visual Studio. So here I've got a blank Visual Studio. So what we do is going to go ahead and create a new project. So new, uh, we just open the start window. 
and create a new project. So here we're going to. Okay, I've got this on desktop, so I'm just going to change it. So we're going to put all projects, and we're going to use C sharp console app. So we're going to start a new C sharp console app here. So this might take a while for the project to start. I'm just going to pause it. So as you can see here now, we've got a console app created for us with the right line. I mean, it's console the right line, hello world. There's nothing inside. So we come back to the chat GPT. So here, since we've actually got the definition of C sharp, so we're just gonna let to, we're just gonna tell it to write a very simple C sharp program. So we're just gonna say C sharp dictionary sample. So see, once we write this here, it will try and create a C sharp um, a dictionary sample. I hope. So as you can see here, sure, this is the sample. So it's basically writing the code for us. So basically, we've got a dictionary um, variable inventory, and it's got a couple of stuff in it. Yeah, so let's read what is written here. So this program creates a new dictionary object with string keys and integers, an integer value. Add some items to it, accessible, access it, and modifies values by key, removes items from the dictionary, and finally iterates over the dictionary, right? So basically, it's a, it's a very simple C-sharp dictionary sample. So what we do is we're just going to copy this code here. And we're going to paste it inside our Visual Studio. So we're just going to remove all of this. And we're just going to paste it here. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the, the code pasted. So it's a very simple stuff here. So basically we've got an additional variable declared as inventory and we've added a couple of stuff in it, apple, bananas, and oranges. So the, the, the inventory has a string and a, a string um, and, uh, as a key and we've got the value as, a, as an integer. So basically, it's a, it's a very simple stuff. So let's run it to see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see here now, we've got the, the dictionary, um, what is inside our dictionary printed, like 10 apples and whatnot, yeah? So it's, it's a very simple stuff, yeah? So I'm just going to leave the video here, but on the next video from this year, we try and build um, a C sharp, I mean, a chat, chat, um, chat GPT API with C sharp, and we're just going to start interacting it from our program, yeah? So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. As you know, I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.